Hello. Hey, so I am so glad you're here in our open house. I'm thrilled that you're here. And I have such a cute little project for us to do together. So I would encourage you to grab some watercolor paper. Um, I'm using just little watercolor cards. I use, I, I'm gonna give you the link for these cards. They're paper source echo white cards. So they're not touted as watercolor, but I use them all the time. So I know they work. You're welcome to use just watercolor paper and then adhere it with double-sided tape to a card if you want to. Um, these work out to be great little place cards, uh, great little um, uh, thank you notes, teacher notes, um, you know, housewarming gifts, something like that. So I am excited to do this little project with you. This would be a great little project to do if you have a group um, in the U.S., we have Thanksgiving coming or Christmas parties. So if you want something fun to do um, with a group of people, this would be a great little project, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple examples of a fun way to get started. Um, one way to do it is to put a really sweet little word in the middle. Perhaps it's someone's name. Perhaps it's gratitude, Thanksgiving, um, gifts of the season, you know, wild and sweet. Uh, anything like that. I'm just going to do love because I, it's just so simple. <laughs> and um, we can work on some pen work with our words as well. So it's an easy one for me um, to do for this project. Okay. And then on each side of love, we're going to put in a parentheses. For real, a parentheses. Yes, I said that right. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, you can bring it in a little bit if you want to. Um, this is a four by six card, so we can kind of go out wide a little bit. All right, so with this line, then we're gonna kind of join up this other line here. And then on this one, we're not gonna quite come into this um, across here. We're gonna just stop part way, something like that. And that's just for visual interest. That's just to kind of make it look different and interesting. You will soon see, okay. So with a pencil, a little mechanical pencil, um, we're just going to start on this end right here. And all you do are little boxwood leaves that look like hearts. It also could look like an almond shape, little tear shape. But if you have um, uh, maybe someone with you, maybe grandma's helping, maybe you have a sister-in-law that wants to do these with you, you could just say, hey, just make a cute little heart, okay? And sometimes that helps people to not think of it as leaves. <laughs> a lot of times when you say, um, draw a leaf, you know, people get nervous and want to make it look exactly like a leaf, and this is just a silly representation of a leaf, all right? So now once we get it to this point, I just want you to go in with your pencil and add just a whole bunch more leaves. So we're just going to go outside the lines a little bit, inside the lines of where um, this little wreath is, and just play along with me. Look how easy it is. We're just going to go randomly different places and add hearts, just like that, little leaves. Fill it in, fill it in, and once we sort of have it filled in a little bit, it's okay if you go on top of other leaves, it's totally fine. Just like that, just so it looks full, full and fun and pretty. Okay, now I want you to take your eraser, and I just want you to go in and erase out, kind of, kind of erase out that center line just because we don't need that to be such a harsh line in our painting. I'm gonna kind of erase that out. We can still see it. It takes some of that out. And you can take out some of the bold leaves as well. So if some of your leaves are really strong, maybe you had kind of a heavy hand doing it, <laughs> maybe go through and erase out some of those with a great big white eraser, okay, pretty, pretty, so sweet, okay, 
So this is the beginning of that one. And then let's also start, let's also do another one. I have a little um, prop here. I've got a little evaporated milk, but anything that's round is gonna work. Anything that's round, kind of center it up on that card. And let's just do a round shape. In class, I just use my, um, I just go for it with circles. <laughs> Sometimes I'll use my fist to see if that's kind of about the right size, but um, for this project, because, you know, it's that time of year when you have a lot of these cute little things laying around, why not? Why not? Okay, same kind of idea. We're just going to start on one side, do these cute little heart shapes going around, little box with leaves. Okay, same kind of idea. We're just going to kind of fill that in so that it's not so careful. Kind of widen that shape out inside and outside the line and very cute perfect okay do we want to add a word to this one as well i'm just going to put love in this one as well hello love hello love very cute you can have little polka dots little berries winter berries something like that okay it's the idea of fall leaves Okay, we're gonna go back in with this one again and take out that center. It just looks better to not have a harsh center line. It also looks better if you don't have really, really dark leaves in the end. If you kind of lighten up, lighten up a little bit on your leaves, you're gonna be happier. Okay, all right, let's grab our paint. All right, so I have a smattering of all colors, and I think we should do one that's very fall and one that's a little bit more festive for Christmas. And I would encourage you to try a couple different brushes. So if you have some smaller rounds, try that. If you have a big mop, squirrel mop, try that. Um, it's another big round you could try. This, these are probably my favorite for this little project. This one I can add a little bit more color um, if I don't get enough down with my mop, okay? So along with practicing, sketching, tiny bit of sketching and tiny bit of paint, you can also play with your brushes, so fun. Okay, so let's start with some fall colors. Let's start with yellow, bright, bright, bright yellow. And we are just gonna block in the color. This is how we block in the color, is we are not being super careful about the leaves. We're just being a little bit careful about the leaves. <laughs> okay, we're just putting color all over the whole piece here. One layer, you can add a couple um, spots of denser pigment if you want to. All right, now orange. I'm just gonna go right into an orange paint, which is just red and yellow mixed, right? Get in here with some orange, very festive orange. Love orange. Oh, so pretty. Okay, and then our next color would be what? Red. Let's do red. So, let me grab some red on my brush. And you really don't even have to rinse your brush too much because we want to kind of pull in that orange into our red here just so we have a nice continuous flow of color okay get clear over to here I love red oh it's so gorgeous okay and then once we get here I'm going to do um, a little brown and instead of doing a true brown I'm going to do a very taupey brown color just because I love the softness of it and so I'm just going to work that in block that color in okay work with me here blocking that color in pretty okay into our green so let's hit up our green here and then we're gonna finish off with an indigo blue. I'm gonna pull that green into the blue here. 
And I'm going to rinse my brush so that we get a more true indigo blue. And finish off with that blue right there. Okay, if you wanted to, you could have ended with white. We could have done more um, green and brown. So kind of just feel out what you think would be pretty festive Thanksgiving kind of color. Okay, we're gonna let that dry, so I'll set that aside. Now on our other one, I thought we could do a more Christmassy Christmas color. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> um, but let's just go with, I, I really love that indigo blue. And I know it's not a real true Christmas color, but I'm just gonna play around with this and see if I can make it look Christmassy. So, okay, I'm gonna pull it out a little bit so it's very light out here on this end and darker pigment up here on this end. Does that make sense? Take off a little bit of paint there. And let's do the green. That green was so fun. So I think, let's see, we'll do pink and red. Let's do green all over up here. So I'm gonna start my greens, block out all of this color with green, all this area, sorry. I'm gonna pull my blue up into that green now. So we have that blue-green mixing right here. It's gonna look interesting and pretty. And we'll pull this up into yellow, orange. Get my orange. And pull that into that green so that can mix. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And that's gold. That's that Christmas gold. I just love that color. For Christmas, and then of course bright red. Red, hot pink, deep magenta. Anything like that would be perfect for right here. Okay, maybe that blue is not a traditional ho holiday, Christmassy color for you. <laughs> I don't know, kind of mess around and see what you think. It might be. You might actually really love it. You might love it. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna mix them or if I was gonna have it stop right there, but we will anyway, okay? Actually, that looks very Thanksgiving again. Same deal, same deal. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside to dry and I actually have another one that I have um, done. Okay, so I have a couple of these that are already dry, like ready to go dry, okay? So if I, if I were you and I love this project and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so cute to make, um, I would do like six or eight at a time, just because you could do all the yellow, then all the orange, then all the red, and then it would help you to not be so careful as well, because sometimes I think not being careful um, lends itself to being very pretty. Um, and very watercolory, <laughs> all those things good. So, and also too, I just want you to keep in mind the idea of making this large, like doing it so that it's maybe twice or three times this big, stretching the colors out and making a very pretty larger wreath that you could then frame and put by your front door or frame and give as a gift. Be gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so I have two heads This here. is a group with a lot of kids, let's say, and everybody wants a chance to do, you know, to draw their little hearts in there. <laughs> Which is totally fun, I love it. Um, I actually think you could get away with using a pen like this. And I'll show you, let me show you some examples. So here's my .05, and it's so light and pretty. But it has a very, very tiny nib on it and it will break, and it's, and it's expensive to replace. So I would keep this for yourself um, to do your art with. And I'm gonna show you, if you use these very light and have them practice ahead of time, they can put down a very soft light line. Look at that. So it may not be exactly the same, but I think you might be able to get something that's somewhat similar to what you're going for, okay? All right. Okay, I'm gonna do the tiniest one, the 0 
I'll bring you in so we can see together. Okay, this is a little one that I did a little bit earlier so it could dry. And I'm just gonna go in right here on this side and the same kind of thing that we already did. Okay, little hearts, little almond shaped leaves. And I'm just doing tons of extra, lots of extra. See that? Nothing complicated. <laughs> I'm not going on the exact same shapes that we already did because you can sort of still see them, the pencil underneath. I'm just adding a lot more, filling it in. Okay, so little heart shapes, little extra leaf shapes. Definitely you can go outside the line because you can see it better that way and it's kind of fun. You can probably see what I'm doing more clearly now with that lighter paint. Okay, just like this. Little hearts and extra little leaf shapes. Extra little boxwood leaves. Okay, and why we're doing this, and it's so relaxing and fun and silly and simple, is to tell you that we have tons of projects in this little class. I have just um, been way too excited. So I, <laughs> I just put too many class, I mean too many little um, projects, but it will make it fun because you can pick and choose what it is that you want to do. And there are so many gifting ideas. Um, you're just going to be amazed by all the things that uh, we can make let's together. Let's also do, let's see, let's also do this grateful one. Okay, same kind of idea, we're just going to start on this end. And you can still see a lot of the pencil in this one. So I'm kind of keeping the pen work about the same size, maybe a tiny bit smaller than what is on this watercolor because it's going to give it a very interesting and different look. It's going to look like layered leaves, like a big pile of leaves perhaps. Um, on some of the colors, especially this pretty taupey color, it looks like down feathers on a bird, like on the chest of a goose or a dove. It looks so pretty and soft. You can see how my loops are bigger. Maybe I'm not doing heart shapes as much as I'm just doing big, soft, open leaf shapes. Okay, just like that. Get around some of these areas, especially if they're very messy or you have a lot of uneven edges. Just definitely go around those a couple times with some really soft pen like this, very delicate pen and it's gonna clean up those edges immediately. They're gonna look so pretty. Okay, and then get tiny, tiny, tiny right at the end. And voila. Let's step back and see what that looks like. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I still would go in and add more. I think that you'll be happier if you really load it up. I am not kidding. I think it is just gorgeous if you just put layer upon layer in there. Okay. Big soft leaves and hearts. Okay, and the same with our last one. We want to do little, little tiny, tiny hearts, little polka dots. Little X's and O's everywhere, okay? And then for the word, we're just going to go in with a point .1 pen. You could probably get away with a point .2 as well. And I'm just going to go right over the pencil, right, right over the pencil, okay? Which makes it easy if you're doing a person's name or you're worried about your pen work. You can just do it with pencil, okay? And then we will erase the pencil when we're done. Okay, so what I do to kind of make it look more full is probably the exact same thing that you do. Okay, so I just keep to the side and make those sides thicker. Okay, so I would just do the outside of this G, the long part of this, And the 
long part of this tee. Can clean that up and make it look so nice. Around that E, thicken it up a little bit. Now this I've kind of uh, messed up here, so I'm just going to thicken up that line and thicken up this line here. Smooth it out. Smooth everything out so it's nice and soft. as well. Thicken that up a little bit more. Okay, and then all you have to do is go back in and just add your pen. Those little spots. And pretty that is. The same idea. Just get your, this one's completely dry, but get your pen and just go over those lines that you've made and then thicken up any lines that you've messed up. <laughs> That's my cue. Um, thicken up the lines that I've messed up or um, just make sure that you get the long, longer lines um, thickened up and it looks really pretty, okay? So that's kind of where we are with that. How cute is that? Perfect for Thanksgiving, perfect for the holidays, perfect for teacher gifts, little neighbor gifts, anything like that, or to just be a reminder of um, class that's starting. So we have a million projects to do. We've got Christmas tree farms and little woodland creatures and garlands and wreaths and St. Lucia and um, little Sparky, the porcupine. <laughs> we just have tons of fun things to do together. So hey, I can't wait to see you in class and I hope that you have enjoyed this sweet little project with me. And I will give you all of the examples um, that I have done and I just hope that your holiday is a wonderful one. Okay, see you soon.